Okay. Okay, great. <laughs> All right. Um, so welcome back. back. Um, we had to take a quick little break because being a mom always comes first and you had to go and take care of your little one. But we're back again with Katie Pickett from Kate's Web Design Studio. Um, and we kind of left off, I feel like, talking about your daily schedule. And you were kind of just yeah. talking about how with three boys, it's kind of all over the place. It really yeah. is, especially with um, all the different stages, because I've got a four-year-old, two-year-old, and a three-month-old. So it's kind of just a whirlwind all day. I would That's like the best way to describe it. but. I think part of the schedule every day is to get go somewhere. I try to make myself get out of the house because that's, you know, you get stir crazy inside. And so I make myself pack everybody up and we either go to like a YMCA or a park or a play place. That's usually like a big part of the morning schedule. And I can still get mine to nap. So we do like a morning outing and then a nap is like kind of work catch up time for me. And then in the evening, sometimes we go somewhere, but other times it's kind of more like dinner and I'm just starting homeschooling a bit. So I try to do like a little bit of reading and, and that type of thing um, in the evenings. And then I work when we get them down. <laughs> so that's kind of like our daily routine that's, you know, changes periodically right. or changes every other day, kind of depending on who's sick or who didn't sleep very good or, you know, anything. It always changes with kids. You just never really know what you're going to get. <laughs> yeah, oh, definitely. Definitely. But that sounds like a pretty good and pretty busy day for sure. Yeah, it always is very busy. It's like before you know it, it's like 3 o'clock in the afternoon and you're like, oh my gosh, where's this day gone? You know, it's just already yeah. gone. Which in a way I like it because you're busy and you're and you're moving all the time. And then sometimes I'm like, gosh, I've got so much to do and I have no more day left. <laughs> yeah. Well, which kind of brings me to our next question, which what is your favorite thing about being a stay-at-home mom? Oh, gosh. I like being there for everything. I'm there for all the games. I'm there for the, you know, you're just, you're always a part of everything they're learning, everything they're realizing. So you really get to be involved with that. And I just, I just like to experience everything with them. So I can really kind of understand and um, help them through things and just always be a part of it. I think that's probably my favorite piece of being at home is you just don't feel like you're missing anything because it's going to go by so fast. And, mm -hmm. and that's probably the biggest thing that I appreciate about being able to be home um, with the kids. Yeah, that's so wonderful. So I, I completely agree with you, 100%. Even though sometimes you're like, maybe I want to leave for a little while. <laughs> but ultimately, you just don't, you don't want to miss anything. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so that's like, yeah, I just wouldn't trade that for anything. Oh, definitely. I agree. So, yeah. um, but we all know it's not all just like, you know, rainbows and unicorns. So um, right. what kind of things do you struggle with as a stay-at-home mom? I think all the... Um, now that I've got toddlers talking, it's all the talking, whining, the noise all day long. I think it's been the hardest thing for me recently because it's like they are just constantly in my ear on me. And when you have two of them talking and whining and fighting, it's all the noise where I'm like, I just need to like go hide somewhere <laughs> where it's quiet for a little bit because you can't think very well. You can't like think through a whole thought process mm -hmm. before completely being interrupted all the time. Yes, definitely. And that's probably the biggest thing I struggle with is just being able to kind of endure that all day. Mm -hmm. And then once nighttime comes, I'm like so excited because it's quiet and I know everybody's happy because they're sleeping. So everybody's fine. And I will stay up way too late just like sitting, <laughs> enjoying the quiet. <laughs> yes, the peace and quiet. I totally hear you. I'm in the oh, toddler yeah. stage too. Um, yes. So um, what advice then would you give to other stay-at-home moms? I think um, if you're a stay-at-home mom, find a creative outlet. So I get to, you know, web design for me and working with clients is very creative. So it's not just work. It's uh, this creative process that I get to go through. And now I'm embarking on a, another mom blog as well, which is kind of my side because now it's a little bit difficult for me to take on clients. I have um, a wait list now just because I can only handle so much, which is good. Um, but... You know, I, you also need to find something that's creative for you. And if you can make money doing it, it's always helpful. But even if you don't, 
to have a creative outlet that you look forward to that you can even just kind of, if it's knitting, if it's painting, it could be anything that you can just kind of do at night at home or while the kids are napping. I think that relieves so much stress and it clears your mind. Anything <laughs> that you could do. If it's like, you know, it could be a workout at home. It just kind of depends on, on what you like. But I just highly, highly recommend that moms have that in some way. Yes, definitely. Very important. So you were saying you were starting um, a new mom blog. So why don't yes. you tell us a little bit about your blog, your new blog, and also about your business that you're doing? Yeah, so I have, well, I've been, um, gosh, web design's been my main source of business for quite some time now. And then as I got pregnant with little David, my third one, it's been harder for me to manage clients. So I've had to just have my, basically my workload is full now uh, with some monthly clients and I do online marketing and I do some SEO and I do a uh, blog writing for clients as well and then I thought well why don't I do that for myself as well like I already do it you know for everybody else and um, and I really enjoy writing because that I have a Bachelor of Arts in communication so the writing and marketing and all of that is right at my alley so now I fit in my blog as like my extra little creative piece and the reason I like doing a mom blog is I can just kind of spill the beans on being a mom and you feel a lot better when you can just kind of write some stuff out and, um, and get it out there. And so, and that's called joyful messes. Um, it's being a mom. Oh, I like that. <laughs> everything's messy. Everything's messy all the time, but you have to just try to be happy about it. <laughs> true. And, it is so true. <laughs> and so that's kind of my new little side venture um, because I'm pretty much maxed out on clients for a few months at least now. And um, but I still, I just never. I've always have new ideas, things I want to do. So, that's so great. <laughs> that's <my plan. laughs> yeah, I mean that's why I kind of started blogging. I. I've always yes. loved writing and it's a great creative outlet. So, you know, and a lot of moms are doing it now and I think it's a really wonderful yeah. thing. I, and so. I understand why moms do it. And you have, you know, it's just, you can just write about being a mom and you feel better writing about it. And then moms read it and they're like, yeah, I'm there with you. Yeah, I get it. Exactly. You know, it builds the uh, community. It really is. And yeah. I think that's part of being a millennial housewife too is we have this huge online community. Mm -hmm. Where it's not as lonely as maybe it could have been at other, you know, in other generations. We can really tap into the moms and be connected to them without having to get up and go to their house and say, yeah. you know, and have to go somewhere to keep our relationship. Hi! <laughs> yes. Here's Hi. my little one. <laughs> See, I Are you going to be in the kitchen too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so, that's pretty much all I can really say about it. It's, it's just, that's great. No, for sure. We, it is a wonderful online community and, um, you know, it is a great thing for other moms who are looking for a creative outlet to be a part of. So, oh, for sure. Um, so one thing that is common on millennial housewife is having it all. So do you believe yes. you can have it all and how do you define having it all? Oh gosh, I think, you know, that's such a blessing of being a millennial housewife is there's so much opportunity to have it all, but then you have to do it all. And sometimes it's the idea of I can do this and I can have my business and I can have my kids and then I can provide and then I can do, you know, and it's all very like, oh wow, that would be great if I could just do everything. But then when it comes to doing it all day, every day, I think it's easy to kind of max yourself out. Um, and you don't realize it because you think you're pursuing these things that are really great and we have so many opportunities It's like why not take them and why not take this opportunity to work from home and why not create this business and why why not do it if I can but um, I think we have to be careful that We don't do too much in an effort to have it all if that makes sense And I think just being a mom you have it all I think just being a mom and having kids That's really the all part and then if you want to try to do a little bit more um power to you, you know, but have, being a mom is real and having your kids is really, I think everything. And then everything else is just a little frosting on top. <laughs> yeah. I think that's very, very well said. I love that. Being a mom is having it all. And then everything else is like, you know, the frosting. Yeah, like all the sprinkles or frosting, anything else that you could do, but it should never be the all. I think your kids and your relationships is the all part. Um, and we're yeah. lucky that we can perform. Yes, very well said. I love that. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> um, so tell us where we can find you online. 
Oh, gosh. Well, you can keep up with me. Uh, my blog is joyfulmesses.com. So you can find that. And that's where you can probably keep up with a lot of my writing. Um, I do a lot of pictures and fun things there. And then my um, website portfolio is kateswebdesignstudio.com. That's not as active now because I'm pretty um, overloaded with work on that one. But that's where you can kind of check some of that stuff out. But the blog is probably more fun to keep up with now just because I updated it <laughs> a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Great. Are you on um, on Instagram or social media? Oh, yes. Instagram is Joyful Messes. So you can find me there. Um, I have a Facebook page that's Joyful Messes also. So you can search that up and find that. Um, and Instagram and Facebook are the main places that I'm I'm not too much of a Twitter person yet. I know I'm supposed to be, uh, but it's just not respecting. I got to look into it a little bit more and try to get excited about it. Yeah. <laughs> but I like Instagram's my favorite because I love pictures. So. Great. Yeah. Yeah. Pick your battles. I mean, stick with the Instagram and Facebook first. I think that's great. Yes. <laughs> yeah. There's only so much that you can do. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So I'll go ahead and put all of those links on, um, on my blog and on the website. Um, okay. And I just want to say thank you so much, Katie, for, for having you yes. here today. It was really wonderful. And, you know, I'll let you get back to your, your brand new, beautiful little baby over there. Oh, thank you so. so much. Yeah, thank you for your patience. I'm glad I could get back on. <laughs> it's all worked out. It was perfect. So thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you. Okay.